wind speed is above threshold. Ace wind speed is above threshold. Ace data indicated that solar wind speeds have reached the 400. Speed and even density don't seem to be coming in at regular intervals. Well, just, just as Earth goes through season, the sun also goes through season. Since we started looking at the sun uh, thousands of years ago, we've noticed that there's been spots on the sun. And, and when, they, when we started uh, measuring these in, uh, and cataloging these with telescopes, we've noticed that there's a, a, a cycle in these spots uh, where they increase and then decrease in about an, about an average of an 11 year cycle. And that, that cycle means something, uh, not just the number of spots that you see, but that means we've now learned that that means it means increasing output of the sun, uh, increasing solar activity. This increasing activity, when we go into the, the phase and the new phase of the sun solar maximum, we'll expect to see more solar flares. These are electro bursts of electromagnetic energy off the sun. Uh, and the, these can cause, for instance, HF communication blackouts, radio blackouts uh, that can affect our emergency responders as well as our airline communications. Often associated with these flares are energetic particle bursts that that can affect that, that can um, damage satellites by uh, uh, damaging these subsystems, electronic subsystems and satellites, and even the solar panels. and can also induce uh, disruptions in the ionized portion of the atmosphere, the ionosphere, which can disrupt our GPS navigation uh, and, um, that we use on our cell phones, uh, at least I do, almost every day. And, uh, and it's used, precision GPS is used for farming, for surveying, for drilling, and by airlines as well. And so, so and then these currents can also come down to, into the ground, it can induce currents in the ground as well. And that can uh, degrade our pipelines and possibly damage our transformers uh, in our electric power grid and disrupt our electric power uh, uh, grid distribution. So across sector, uh, we, we are concerned about and, and, and watching for solar activity as we come into this, uh, this new phase. under the, the National Space Weather Strategy and Action Plan, uh, this is something that uh, um, uh, we, we brought the focus into how we're going to mitigate uh, for these space weather events, not just research and not just monitor, but how we're going to prepare for the Department of Homeland Security, FEMA, uh, other agencies. Um, uh, for instance, FEMA, recently came out with a, a uh, operations concept for, for response to space weather events. We have instituted space weather as part of the international, national, emergency, uh, and, and local, state and local emergency management exercises. Um, so, so across the board, we're, we're preparing um, for how we would respond to these large events. <music>